Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not new, hi again. So this is my channel. I love doing all kinds of DIYs. I love doing all DIYs on a budget. I also love to do thrift flips and I also absolutely love to make wreaths. Now, if you hear noise in the background, I'm in my yard right now. I live in Florida and our air conditioning broke. So, <laughs> I am outside where it is nice and cool right now because it's actually cooler outside than it is inside. So if you like what you see here, you know what to do. Hit that red subscribe button. Also, leave me a comment. I love to hear what you guys think and give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram and also on Pinterest. I also have a wreath shop called Krista's Wreath Designs. It's an Etsy shop. I will have that link down below. Today is all about farm fresh and fabulous. And our host is Crafty Hints. And our co-hosts are Rustic DIYs and Six Kids in a Glue Gun. So more to that in a minute. First, let's get into DIY number one. So I took one of these signs from the Dollar Tree and I'm taking one of my Chuck Couture uh, stencils that says farm-ish. And I took the hello off the top of the little sign. And now I'm gonna take some antique wax and I sanded it down so it was nice and smooth on top once I took that hello off. And now I'm just using the antique wax and I'm just using a baby wipe and I'm just like kind of wiping the edges with my finger with the baby wipe. Very, very simple, not hard at all. Super easy, I love these little signs and I hope they come out with some more. So next, I'm just gonna take some white Waverly chalk paint and I am going to just distress the edges of it and then kind of do like a light brushing over it as well. Just a real nice dry brush. I love things that are rustic and I love farmhouse and that rustic look, so. And this sign is perfect for me because I am a little farm-ish because I don't live on a farm. I live in Florida and I don't live on a farm. But um, I feel farm-ish because I love that kind of decor in my house. <laughs> So next, I took a piece of this scrapbook paper that I had um, for a while. It was in one of my paper pads, and I used a glue stick. I didn't use Mod Podge. I think the glue stick works just fine for this, and I just stuck it down inside of it, and I just traced it out. And next, we're going to take our Chaka Tour sign, and I am going to fuzz it. Now, what this does is it helps it not to be so sticky on the back, and it helps your transfer not pull hard up on your surfaces so what I'm going to do here is I am just going to lay it down as straight as I possibly can this took me a bit and then once I did get it straight down I came in with my um black black velvet I believe it's called um paste that is also from Chocotour and I will have that link down below. You can purchase things from Chuck Tour. You can become a designer. I am a designer, um, but I will give you links to everything. It'll be in my link tree and you could just click on it and go in there, take a look, browse around. You might see something you like. I love all these transfers. They came out with some lemon ones this year. So these are super fun and great for making DIYs. I just love making crafts with these. They're just so simple, so easy, and so versatile. So you guys should really check it out, absolutely. Now when I look, this is my favorite part, is taking the stencil off, look at that. I love it, gorgeous. And that's it, you guys, I left it just like that. I love the way it looks. I think it looks rustic and farmish, perfect. So like I said, this is uh, a collab that we're doing. Our co-host and our host is Crafty Hints. Co-host is Rustic and Lace. There is a playlist down below. Our other co-host is Six Kids in a Glue Gun. Make sure you check everyone out. So next I got this little toolbox from the Target Dollar Tree spot. It was, I believe, three or five dollars. I had some flowers that were left over and I'm gonna use one of my Chuck Couture <laughs> stencils again. I love these things. But at this time, I'm only gonna use the words. So like I said, these are so versatile because you could do whatever you want with these and make it your own, personalize it, whatever you want. So I used the color I'm using this time is a eucalyptus shimmer. So it kind of shines a little bit. It's got like a little bit of a shine to it. Super, super pretty. And I love the way it looks on this toolbox because I'm gonna do it with some flowers, of course, and 
fill it with flowers and I love the color of the natural wood I think it's just perfect and it would just go with anything so that's why I left it alone next I'm just gonna take a piece of floral foam and from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna stick that down there in there with some hot glue and now I'm gonna clip apart some of these um, picks that I had these are from Dollar Tree and then the daisies and the other ones I believe are from Michaels but um, they were on sale I always buy my florals on sale I make lots of wreaths like I told you I have an Etsy shop where I sell my wreaths and I always buy everything you know on a budget I do not spend tons of money on lots of things I make sure I buy high quality but at a reasonable price so I don't have to you know sell my stuff like super high you know so that's why I do it that way so and this is what I like to show you guys so you guys aren't spending a lot to make your own decor in your home so now what I'm doing is I'm just sticking all of my little greenery in first and then I'm just gonna come in with a few flowers. I didn't want too much color. I wanted to keep this as neutral as possible, but make it still look beautiful. And like it was like blooming with these beautiful flowers. So I use these pretty daisies. And like I said, I got these at Michael's and they are so, so pretty. I love this pick. And it was not expensive at all for this pick. So, and now I think their stuff is 60% off already their spring flowers so you guys could get the flowers really really cheap right now so I'm just sticking those in and then those little balls I don't know what you call those they look like little prickery balls and they have um they're like kind of a, like a not yellow yellow but like a pale yellow so I'm gonna stick some of those in here as well and I just love the way this looks on my little stand in my house it just looks so so pretty and like I said I'm just gonna cut these down a little bit I'm gonna leave all of them on the same pick though um, together like that and I just kind of like spread them out so that they fit in there really nicely and they look spread out in my little uh, bouquet that I have going on here and then once I get them all in next you're gonna see me come in with some buffalo check ribbon from the Dollar Tree that I thought would look really, really nice on the bottom part of this toolbox. Um, this little toolbox bouquet of flowers. Oops, that was my dog, sorry guys. He can't see, he's so old and it's dark outside and poor baby, are you okay? Oh, sorry about that guys. So what I'm gonna do now, like I said, is I'm just going to stick my, um, ribbon all the way down the bottom portion of this toolbox. So I'm just gonna keep going around and gluing it with just a little bit of glue, little strip of glue, and I go all the way around till I get to the back and then I sew it down. And that is all I do for this, you guys. It's super, super easy, super simple. Oh, and the saying that I put on here is keep growing and, no, keep growing. Oh my gosh, now I don't remember. Sorry guys, <laughs> but it's a really cute saying and it's all about blooming, growing and blooming. So that is the best part, right? So next I'm just going to cut it off and then glue it down so that it stays put. And that's it. Really easy, you guys. Super easy, super cheap to make. And I just love it. Here goes the saying keep going keep growing there it is guys <laughs> so now on to diy number three i absolutely love this one guys this one i have to say is my favorite so i took this wreath that i already had with some greenery on it, it was in my stash and i'm gonna take some of that vinyl from the dollar tree and also this uh, tag sign from the dollar tree and i'm just gonna take some waverly white chalk paint and i'm going to paint this whole thing now i could have ripped the paper off yes but i didn't want to do that <laughs> Because half the time when I try to rip the paper off, I'm like there all day trying to rip this paper off and I just don't have time. So I just paint over it. Really simple. It's staying in my house. I'm not selling it to anybody. So it's mine to keep. And I like the way it turned out. And the bottom portion of it is going to get covered anyways. I just wanted to make sure that it was all nice and finished. That's just how I am. If I know something's not finished all the way through, like if I leave the back not covered, 
that would bother me. So I just, that's just me. <laughs> but next what I did is I'm just measuring out how much I need of this vinyl. This stuff is really cool from the Dollar Tree because you can use it. Sorry, loud motorcycle just went by, guys. Yeah, this is real life here. We're, we got going on here. Um, so what I learned from one of the other crafters, DIYers, is if you spray some water when you go to stick this vinyl down, it's easier to move and lift up. So I just sprayed a little bit of water and then I put it down just in case I have to lift it up to re position it just like that like I had to do it so I put a little bit more water down because I know it was still a little sticky and then what I did is I just laid it down but I was able to move it around so I left this part on so you guys could see how easy that is see and then I just lay down and then it also stuck really good and I had no bubbles so like this idea it was perfect so now I'm going to take this little family sign. They just started putting these out at the Dollar Tree, these wooden ones. They come two in a pack, and I believe there's home, family, and love. And there might be another one, believe, or something like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this one um, with my black paint by Apple Barrel. And I'm just painting it black. And I just love the way this turned out, you guys. And I have this up in my house right now, so... Yeah, because it goes with my decor, so. And then I'm just going to take this really cute wreath. And all I did was stick some greenery in this. They sell these wreaths. I think you get three in a pack at Hobby Lobby for like four bucks. So, reasonably. They're very reasonable. And you get three of them, so. And then what I did is I just tied some of this um, jute twine on it. And made it real nice and tight and tied it to the top the little wreath and this I didn't make a hanger for this because but you could but I didn't um, make a hanger for this I decided to just lay it up against my like wall I kind of like kitty cornered it on one of my shelves and it just stands up really nicely so I didn't need to do anything to stand it up it just stand up against like the wall or whatever you're using to put it on and that's it for that and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue down my little family sign on here and that's it I mean this turned out super super cute I absolutely love the way this turned out and um, it looks really cute in my house so yeah so there it is and that's it you guys so I hope you guys like this one. This one was my favorite. So, but you have to let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. So now on to DIY number four. This is the last one that I did. And I like this one too. So I got this from Monarch Mom. She made this and I will have her link in my description box. Um, she made one of these and I thought it was a really cute idea. So I took one of these rounds from the Dollar Tree and these little glass jars, you know, you see these all the time in the craft section and then I just took a couple of these little I just took some picks off of my, my Dollar Tree florals and what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to spritz it with my water because I want to make the stain because my stain is really thick so I wanted it to be watered down a little bit so it's the antique wax though by Waverly but notice when you get down to the bottom of the jar it starts to get really thick and gritty so I watered it down with some water and that just makes the paint move a little bit more smoother and then I just came in with my paper towel and I let it sit you know for like about a minute and then wiped it with my paper towel and it came out really pretty so now this part got cut out and I don't know how so I picked this life live life in bloom stencil from chalk couture and I just used my white chalk paste okay so that one was really simple so you really didn't miss much and now I'm taking this little gate that I had that I've been using pieces of this for so long now. I've had it like forever. And I got it at Hobby Lobby. And now I'm gonna take the little corkscrew thing that's on the top of these little jars and I'm gonna position them on the little gates and I'm going to glue them down with my hot glue. Now, I did have to go back because the hot glue did not let these stay on. So I went back in with the gel, um, super glue from Dollar Tree and that worked so make sure you use that instead of the hot glue so I just took them off went back in but I didn't show it on camera because it just would have been ridiculous so um yeah that's what I did so I used or any you know super glue 
would work, but that's what I used was the gel one. And then I decided to, for extra reinforcement, I decided to take some twine also to look kind of decorative, you know, make the bottles kind of pop out a little bit. I just glued on some jute twine and I kind of like went over and under, over and under on the bottles on the top part. And I know it's hard to see, there you go. So I go under, over, under, over, and then I come back, go under, over, under, over. And I did that a couple times. And then I just glued it to the back of the fence and cut that off. And that's it. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is I took my little floral picks that I picked out and I just stuck them inside. But then I decided that I wanted to make the hanger a little more decorative. So I came in with some of these white beads that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got a whole box of them when they were 50% off, really cheap. And they're already white guys, I don't have to paint them. I think I paid three bucks. So for me, that's a win-win. So anything to save me time. So next I just went in and I made a little knot in the back and that was it. And then I just made my little hanger. So I didn't have to paint them on or anything. I just had to string them on. And now I decided that the top part just looked too plain. So I wanted to come in with, sorry about that. Wanted to come in with some greenery and I um, took these little picks from the Dollar Tree and I think one of them might've been from that I had left over from Walmart. And what I did is I made a little swag on the top. So I just took some jute twine and I just kind of put some glue down and then I just kind of wrapped the jute twine around both of them on each side to help them stay together. And then I glued the twine to the back and there's your little swag, really simple. And then what I did is we're going to take a little yellow flower that I found in my stash and can, you know you can always find stuff in your stash guys <laughs> i know we all have stash somewhere and then what i did is i glued it to the top and just made it look a little more decorative and i really liked um the swag on the top i think it looked really super cute so mine is a little bit different than monarch mom's she didn't do this part but um i really like hers too and then what i did is i um put the gate on and how I did that is I used the glue gun first and guess what didn't stay down so I had to come in with that super glue again so make sure you use the super glue if you guys try to do this because that's what's going to make it stay and then I just glued it down and yay that one's all done but then when you see the picture I decided to put that little strip of some um ribbon on the side of it so just to make it more decorative so i want to thank you guys for watching and as always remember to stay crafty thanks bye